Hey there, science fans! Batteries are everywhere in our modern world. They power our smartphones, laptops, and even some cars. As we rely more and more on portable power, understanding how batteries work is more important than ever. Two major contenders dominate the battery world lithium ion and lead acid. Let's dive in. First up, we have lithium ion batteries. They're the new kids on the block, known for being lightweight and packing a lot of energy. Think of them as the cheetahs of the battery world, quick, agile, and energy dense. On the other hand, we have the venerable lead acid batteries. They've been around for over a century and are known for their reliability and affordability. Think of them as the workhorses of the battery world, strong, dependable, and always there when you need them. Lithium-ion batteries work by shuffling lithium ions between two electrodes through an electrolyte. This process is fundamental to how these batteries store and release energy. The two electrodes are typically made of different materials, with the anode often being graphite and the cathode made from a lithium metal oxide. The electrolyte is a lithium salt in an organic solvent, which facilitates the movement of ions. This intricate dance of ions is what powers our smartphones, laptops, and even electric vehicles. When you charge the battery, lithium ions move from one electrode, the cathode, to the other, the anode. This movement is driven by an external electrical source, which forces the ions to migrate through the electrolyte. The ions are stored in the anode, creating a potential difference between the two electrodes. When you use the battery, the ions flow back, releasing energy. This energy is then harnessed to power your devices. The flow of ions back to the cathode generates an electric current, which is what we use to run our gadgets. This back-and-forth movement of ions is what makes lithium-ion batteries so efficient and reliable. It's like a game of electrochemical tag. The ions are constantly on the move, ensuring that your devices have a steady supply of power. This dynamic process is what makes lithium-ion batteries so versatile and widely used in modern technology. Lead-acid batteries, on the other hand, rely on a chemical reaction between lead plates and sulfuric acid. These batteries have been around for over a century and are commonly used in vehicles and backup power systems. The lead plates are immersed in sulfuric acid which acts as the electrolyte. When you charge the battery, the lead sulfate on the plates converts back to lead and sulfuric acid. This process restores the battery's ability to store energy. The charging process involves an external electrical source that drives the chemical reaction in reverse, replenishing the lead plates and the sulfuric acid. When you discharge the battery, the opposite happens, releasing energy. The lead and sulfuric acid react to form lead sulfate and water, generating an electric current. This current is then used to power various devices from car engines to emergency lighting systems. It's a bit more old school, but it gets the job done. Despite their age, lead acid batteries are still widely used due to their reliability and cost effectiveness. They may not be as advanced as lithium ion batteries, but they remain a crucial part of our energy storage solutions. Section 4, Lithium Ion Batteries, The Ups and Downs. Lithium ion batteries have revolutionized the way we use and think about portable power. From our everyday gadgets to electric vehicles, these batteries are at the heart of modern technology. Lithium ion batteries have a lot going for them. They are incredibly efficient and have a high energy density, which means they can store a lot of power in a relatively small space. They're lightweight, which is why you find them in smartphones and laptops. This makes our devices more portable and convenient to use, allowing us to stay connected and productive on the go. They also pack a lot of energy for their size, meaning your devices can run for longer. This is particularly important for those who rely on their devices for work or entertainment throughout the day. Plus, they don't have a memory effect, so you can top them up whenever you like without reducing their lifespan. This flexibility is a significant advantage over older battery technologies, which required full discharge before recharging. However, lithium-ion batteries aren't perfect. Despite their many benefits, they come with their own set of challenges and limitations. They're more expensive than lead-acid batteries, 
This higher cost can be a barrier for some applications, especially in industries where cost efficiency is critical. They also can be sensitive to extreme temperatures and can degrade over time, even if you don't use them. This means that their performance can be affected by the environment, and they may not last as long as you would hope. Safety is also a concern, as they can overheat and even catch fire if not handled properly. This risk requires careful management and has led to stringent safety standards and regulations. Remember those hoverboard fires a few years back? Those incidents highlighted the potential dangers of lithium-ion batteries and the importance of proper manufacturing and quality control. Despite these challenges, research and development continue to improve lithium-ion battery technology. Innovations are being made to enhance their safety, efficiency, and longevity, ensuring they remain a vital component of our technological future. Section 5. Lead Acid Batteries, Tried and True But Lead Acid Batteries are the reliable workhorses of the battery world. They've been around for over 150 years, proving their durability and dependability time and again. They're inexpensive to produce which is why they're still widely used in cars. Their cost effectiveness makes them a popular choice for many applications, from automotive to industrial uses. They're also very good at delivering short bursts of high power, like when you start your car. This ability to provide a quick jolt of energy is crucial for starting engines and other high power demands. Plus, they're relatively safe and easy to recycle. The recycling process for lead-acid batteries is well established, making them an environmentally friendly option compared to some other battery types. However, lead-acid batteries are bulky and heavy. This can make them less convenient for portable applications where weight and size are critical factors. They also don't hold as much energy for their size as lithium-ion batteries. This means that for the same amount of energy storage, lead-acid batteries will take up more space and add more weight. They also have a limited lifespan and can lose their charge if they're not used regularly. Regular maintenance is required to keep them in good working condition, which can be a drawback for some users. Section 6 On the Road and in Your Garage Which battery reigns supreme? When it comes to transportation, lithium-ion batteries are becoming increasingly popular, especially in electric vehicles. Their high energy density allows EVs to travel further on a single charge. However, lead-acid batteries are still used in many conventional vehicles because of their lower cost and ability to provide high starting power.